This is a capture raise challenge for black. So black only has two liberties left, so obviously it must play this move. Otherwise, white will be able to win this race to capture very easily. So you can argue that maybe black should play on the outside first, forcing white to connect, uh, but it doesn't work because you're just really sacrificing the stone for nothing. And this way, white will be able to win very easily by destroying a potential real eye for black. The so black must play here. And now what white can do is either connect here or here. White cannot play this. It doesn't have a coat because number three is double Atari and white will die this way. So if white connects here, what should black do? In some of the previous problems we saw this move but it doesn't work here because black is very short on liberties and there's actually no weakness in white's shape you might think this cut but because this is already an atari number seven is useless so white will still be able to come in right here at number 10 and win this race to capture very easily so that's why number three here actually doesn't work what else should we try occupying liberties right here seems like a nice move if white simply views this eye, then it will be short, like this. Black will win. But the problem with number three is that whenever you bend, your opponent might be thinking about throwing in here, especially here on the corner. By throwing in here, it actually reduces black's liberties. And now, after number six, if you connect here, white can occupy your liberty from behind, and this will be a real eye versus no eye situation, and black will be killed. So the best black can do is to make its own real eye, and eventually this will be a seki shape, like this. Black does not succeed for the purpose of our problem. So what should black do? Usually, when you fail because your opponent can play this throw in, you want to occupy this point first. So let's try this. Standing down here will eliminate the possibility of white throwing in. And after number three, black can actually succeed, right? If white plays here, now, Black can come in, and this will go back to one of the previous patterns where black can succeed. So the order 3 and 5 really matters here. If white tries something else, then black can still win this race to capture. Something like this. Or if white plays on the inside, then black must come in at number 5, and will still be able to win this race to capture. Now what about white connecting here? Now we already know that Standing down here is a good idea, right? Playing this Atari is not, because once again, white can start a code this way. And this code will be a headache for black. If black comes in this way, it seems promising, because if white plays something like this, then black will still be able to win very easily. But the problem with number three is that white can now play this move. What happens is that after black plays here or here, here is probably better, White can Atari from behind, forcing black to capture. And once again, after number eight, this is actually a connect and die for black. And black must rely on this code to stay alive. Otherwise, white will be able to capture black. So once again, we have a code. And that's not the optimal result black is seeking. So that is why black must still play this standing down here on the first line. If white plays something like this, then black will still be able to win this race to capture like this. If white plays on the outside, then black can still play at number 5 and guarantee its own success. So overall, not super difficult, but finding all the co-variations are not easy. And staying away from those co's is very, very important in this type of problem. And one technique we learned here is standing down at number 3, right? At least avoid all the throw-ins. And in this type of situation, avoid this type of pattern, number 3 and 4. This will start the co at 5. So if you don't want to play those co, consider this move and this move. But because this is the corner, very special area of the board, white can also start this co, right? Right here. So that's pretty tricky, but we've seen different kinds of co's in this situation. And that's why this problem is actually quite valuable. So I hope you enjoyed this challenge, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.